And your so, first one, did Birdie come out smooth or was she a C-section? No, a it was C-section. awful. Emergency C-section. Uh, so that was a 22 hour process. I mean, my kids just have massive heads. They're yeah. Viking babies and I can push so, Birdie out. I was crowning, pushed three hours. Emergency oh, C-section. So oh. this is pretty big deal. So I wore my red dress because this is my holiday look and what better holiday than to have a little hot chocolate on your lips. <laughs> Thank you, Revlon. Okay, so we've got two very special guests today. They're WWE champions, moms, and they are badass entrepreneurs. Oh, and they're twins. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Pretty Big Deal, Nikki and Brie Bella, AKA the Bella Twins. Wait, talk now. Hey, can you hear us? Yeah. Can you hear us? Yay. Oh my God, you guys look You're like little like... snow bunnies. Oh, I know. I you. feel like I need like entrance music playing for when you guys like oh, come yeah. in. Oh yeah. Right? Like. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every time I watched you guys coming on to, into the ring, I was like kind of shaking my tits too. Like it's just, yeah. it's just something that happens. It's that woman thing. It really <laughs> is. Right. It's like the go-to, it's crazy. Right. Holy shit, WWE Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay, so I know you guys were supposed to be inducted this year, um, yeah. and due to mm -hmm. COVID, it didn't happen, but so you're getting yeah. induced next year. Um, induced, you're getting inducted next year. I'm like, I hope I don't get induced again. <laughs> I've got yeah, mommy brain like still. Yeah. <laughs> right? What do you guys think is one of the biggest misconceptions about pro wrestling? I feel like everyone's always like, it's fake, it's fake, and it's hokey. And, and what is me, fake about it and what is real about it? Yeah, you know, it's like the fake part, what people like they need to say is like, it's storylines, like we're mm. characters. We go in there and it's like the Bella Twins are bad girls and our characters need to put over that baby face, the good guy, and make the crowd feel bad for them, love them, why they hate us. And so that's all fake, that's all storylines but the movement's real. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, someone like Nikki who broke her neck or my husband who's had multiple surgeries right. and was forced to retire for three years, it kind of like cringes you a little bit inside when people are like wrestling's fake yeah. because you're like, no, it's it's and real. It's just, it's storyline driven. Well, that's interesting to know. Cause I am, sometimes I watch it too and I'm like, okay, so it, it is thought out, but it doesn't look right. fake because you have to learn how to how to flip. You have to learn how to like pull the hair without actually like hurting. I mean, I'm sure you guys have broken stuff and gotten oh, hurt. Oh yeah, sure. Do oh you guys gosh, have so hair much. extensions? I do. I do. I do. Cause I'm, I am like a clip in girl. So I know that the clips would fly out. Okay. But there, that's happened to some girls on live oh TV. Oh, really? And it's embarrassing. It's so <laughs> embarrassing. You'll be seeing the ref like kicking out hair extensions. Oh, like what the hell? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but can I just say, no one pulls my hair harder than my baby right now. My, oh my four gosh. month old yanks my hair harder than any girl in the WWE <laughs> ever has. I don't understand like... the strength of children. But I know you said you're retired, but I, <laughs> do you see you guys, yourselves going back into the ring anytime soon? So oh hell yeah. We definitely Oh hell yeah. Nikki said yeah. Uh -huh. oh, hell yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I dream about it often. <laughs> right. I feel like a couple years. Okay. And the only reason why I say is last time when I, I went back when um, I was seven months postpartum. And I thought, seven months, no big deal. And it was really hard on me and my body. And I wasn't because I had a baby and all the businesses we were doing, I didn't have time to really fully concentrate on my comeback and train. Mm. And it was kind of number three on my list because Birdie was number one. I already was so in deep with my companies. I couldn't just let those go. We were filming a reality show and then mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I have two hours to go train. And so I told myself my next comeback, which we said for sure, because we want to go for the tag titles. I need to give myself a couple years after having Buddy so I could just be able to put WWE, like our training at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. And we want our boys to be, I think as two year olds, them watching, I think they'll get it because Birdie got it at two. Yeah. You yeah. know, when I put Stephanie McMahon at SummerSlam, I love the fact that like, when we came back after our match and we, we killed it, I loved our match. 
to see her three little girls in Gorilla. And when yeah. she came through, their eye they looked at her like she was Santa Claus on Christmas. That's Day. my mommy. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they, they just it really like it actually Brian and I still talk about that moment to this day because it almost brought tears to our eyes to see her daughters just look up to her like she was superwoman. I mean, I feel you. The the whole like postpartum body and getting back into shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a real thing. Yes. Isn't it? I, I'm Ugh. I'm almost eleven months postpartum and I still feel like, oh I've got twenty five extra pounds on me. My body shape is different. Like everything is just different. Yep. And uh -huh. because of the pandemic, also my whole shift is is different and my desire to go to the gym, everything is different. Everything. And I, I do want to get into that because I think like it's something that's important, but this is sitting right next to me and I think it's a little <laughs> bit more important because we get into that. And first of all, everybody listening, it took me scouring all of New York City, all five boroughs, to find <laughs> a copy of Incomparable, the book by oh. the Bella Twins. You guys, it was an instant New York Times bestseller. It's sold out. Yeah. It's, now you guys have a paperback version coming out in January. Right. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Okay, so it's oh, a memoir. Thank you. Yeah, Both yeah. of your memoirs in one book. I really want to know, how did you guys come up with the idea to have a dual memoir? So it's crazy because um, when Nicole and I thought about writing a book and kind of when it was someone, you know, people came up to us and asked us to write it, we were like, they were like, do you guys want to write it together? And we we're like, you know what? We started in the womb together. Yeah. Our careers have been <laughs> together. So much of what we went through is together, but let's have different chapters or little different things because we went through the same stuff, but we had different perceptions of it. Mm -hmm. And we want to use those voices. Yeah. But we thought, you know, being twins, um, you know, it would be good because we do everything together. We're a legit tag team. It would be good to write one together. To and have. also another re another way you can get to know you guys is from your E show, um, Total Bellas. Yeah. You're in your sixth season. Yes. Can't believe it. It's kind Eight of be kind straight. of exhausting to always have cameras there, right? Oh it yeah, is. for sure. It's you have your moments where you just, <laughs> it's almost like you become hangry. You're just like, I need my space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm lucky because I'm with, like Artem is like Brian, they're just so soft-spoken and sweet. I love that they're <laughs> yeah. like secretly married behind you guys. Honestly. I know. That's the plus so about true. reality TV is we get to hear the bromance talks. Oh, no. I'm like, yes. <laughs> the so whole funny. sex talk, I was so like, good. wow. I know. <laughs> the thing that I still like is tripping me up is that you guys basically got pregnant around the same time. Yeah. On purpose yes. or not. Quick answer. No. Okay. Not on purpose. That's and it. then your due dates were just like a week or two apart. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then boom, 20, 20 hours in between. 22. 22. 22 hours. And there's both the boys. I just like, but what? Yeah. You know, mine was a surprise. I didn't know what sex I was having. You didn't. Oh. So I had a surprise. Early. Was it hard for you guys to get pregnant, by the way? Did you guys have to do IVF or anything? Oh my God. No. But so it, I didn't think I could get pregnant. I would need, like I was told, was it a month before that? That I had no estrogen in my body. So I was gonna do the egg freezing process and I was told that you, you'll you have to have help the day you decide to have pregnant, oh. get pregnant. So twice I didn't, well, I wasn't protected. I was like, screw it. So she also was set on baby number one and they had saw, cause they were, how long did you try for baby number Brian two? Brian and I tried for baby number two for eight months. And I just felt like it wasn't in the cards for me. So I'm like, you know what, Brian, like we're so busy in our careers. I think we're just meant to have one kid. So that we just, yeah, mm -hmm. we just decided one kid. So then Brie finds out she's pregnant and I'm feeling crazy symptoms, but I'm thinking like twin thing, whatever. Like and sympathy? Remember, like, did you think it was like sympathy sickness or something? Totally, yeah. 100%. For so sure. I remember being in yoga and being like, I should just take a test. Like, I keep feeling this. I keep like on my mind, I keep like thinking to take a test. So I'm like, just do it. You know, it's negative. When that was positive, I remember being in the bathroom going, oh, f or sorry. It's okay. Or, that's a bad it's word okay. too. Okay. Uh, she was so mad at first. She's like, what the heck? And I'm like, I just got engaged. You think I want to be pregnant right now? Like, why were you mad, Brie? Yeah, Brie, why are you mad? Because my sister didn't really want to be engaged. Like, and we showed her on the reality show. She was going back and forth. Yeah, but yeah, see, this, yeah. Is, yeah. this is the thing with sisters. Um, a sister always comes to you to vent mm -hmm, and do all these mm -hmm. things. So you knew all the I did. For me too, a mom, I know how you prevent pregnancy. 
So as well, a when sister, you know you have no estrogen and there was no chance. I just didn't think the moment was for a I high five. Like, yeah, <laughs> I didn't, you know, it didn't seem like a high five type of moment. It seemed like a scolding moment. Well, like, then it happened. Hand. So Brie, you talked about how you had a little bit of postpartum depression, mm -hmm. and Nikki, you've talked a lot about having postpartum depression yeah. too. And I, I really like commend you guys for both being so open on your show and your podcast, your book. Like mm. it's, I know that it's helping people. I've always have had a strong fight mentally. And mm. this was the first time that mentally I was trying to have a fight and I was losing. And I'm like, what is happening inside? Like, mm. how am I trying to fight these feelings? And I can't, it was really hard on me. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be hard with Total Bellas because I still was filming and I recently watched the two episodes and I go, Brie, I'm going to be hated because what if people don't understand postpartum depression? Like you completely see me just falling apart as like a human being mm -hmm. and as a mom. Mm -hmm. And, but I, I want to put it out there because it's a real thing. And I like to show how people around you adapt to that and how you can help yourself because Which is a great thing. What I've realized is, is as moms, we don't talk about that enough because I think we feel like everyone then automatically thinks we hate our baby. If we say we have postpartum depression, which that's not it at all. It's totally the battle within yourself, within your partner, significant other with, and it's especially nice. I think for career women, we mm -hmm. go from like these major careers and then we're here and then I'm looking in the mirror. And then I think us in the spotlight, we have so much pressure on us to get back to where we were in a short amount of time. The snap like, that's back, not, it's bullshit. It's, it's such, such bull And then it messes with you because they're like, but how is she not? Like literally someone the other day was like, gosh, she's still big. And I was like, excuse <gasps> me? I told Brie, I'm like, she was gonna call that person out, and I'm like, just ignore and it. it. It's, it's not like, even worth it's, it. Yeah. It's yeah. not worth it. I said you had 500 other comments that said you look beautiful. And so. so my life coach is really helping me with like, like she makes me like grab like parts of my body I don't like, and that I say like, thank you for creating Mateo and making Aww. him healthy and like appreciating and loving my body. And it is weird how it's slowly like like you you start to love it like i was in my crop yesterday in low pants and he's like dang girl and i'm like yeah i love it i said I you're the care. only person in napa valley all of us are wearing our jackets walking out here with your crop top but this <laughs> out low here pants. she's gotta let everybody yeah, know like, how hot she is i know and that's right I'm like, major I TA show. I'm like aren't you you're cold obviously <laughs> <laughs> get a jacket <laughs> To hear the whole conversation, make sure to listen to Pretty Big Deal wherever you get your podcasts. When I need some extra hydration, my go-to is Flamingo. This one's the Deep Nourishing Cream. It's super easy to travel with as well. Cause you know, the TSA, they are not looking for a tub. They're looking for tubes. That's my little secret, don't tell them. Mmm, and it smells so good. Oh my God. Thank you, Flamingo. That was such a fun interview, and I have to say that I'm a little bit jealous of that whole twin thing that they have going on. Maybe my next pregnancy I'll have twins. Okay, well, anyways, thank you, Bella Twins, for coming on to Pretty Big Deal. I love you guys so much. To hear the full conversation, click the link below.